You're listening to Talking Law on Radio 97, and if you'd like to uh, catch any of the Talking Law segments from the last 12 months, you can check them out 24 hours a day at YouTube. Just go to uh, YouTube and type in Priala, P-R-I-A-L-A, and you'll find all of these Talking Law segments there any time of the day or night. Oh, isn't that lovely? Um, it will take you through the Chrissy holidays and we're not here. <laughs> yeah, um, some binge watching. And yeah. binge watch. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> um, so, yes, we're discussing what has happened in 2021. Um, the previous segment obviously focusing on COVID and a few cases there that have come out of the works. Um, and now also, obviously, we have to look at what to expect in 2022. This is not over yet. There's some big changes to come. So, Despina, where shall we start? Well, I think we'll start with uh, following on from what we just said before. For, and that is an abundance of new laws that came out um, through 2020 and 2021. And some of them have actually been advantageous. Uh, for example, remote signing has been permitted, witnessing of documents remotely uh, for clients that are stuck, you know, via Zoom or some other means. Mm -hmm. That's still, um, uh, that change is still, uh, well, it's become permanent. So that's really been a big advantage that we've never seen before. Um, so some things were positive, other things maybe so not. But as I said, the social media influence has been quite quite great, I think, as a result, um, perhaps of COVID, um, directly or indirectly. And some of the interesting laws that came out last year, and there might be some flow on effect uh, next year. Mm -hmm. So we've seen the new defamation laws, we talked about that quite a bit. And um, there's consistency now pretty much around Australia about the new defamation laws, very important. There's a segment on that on YouTube. We talked about the new sexual discrimination and harassment laws. Yeah, so that was a big change. Very good um, yeah. in the workplace. So quite significant. Again, there's a YouTube segment on that. So that was very, very important. But what we might expect, what we might expect for 2022, and as I said, we don't have a crystal ball, but definitely um, more fair work commission cases. So mm. we've had a lot of people go to the Fair Work Commissioner this year um, contesting the public health directions and orders, uh, particularly those in the workplace we're talking about where they have been asked to be vaccinated and they have refused. And there's been a few cases. And so far, um, the public health directions have all been deemed to be valid, as we said before. Um, so uh, there is a case that's still pending. It's going to be heard on the 22nd of December, which is involving the Queensland Police and Queensland Health. That'll be a very interesting case to see what the outcome is, which we'll talk about in 2022. So I think there'll be some uh, more cases coming out. Fair Work Commissioner will be very busy. I said that and predicted it at the beginning of this year, mm -hmm. and that'll continue that the Fair Work Commissioner will be very busy. Um, and, and of course, the human rights element, I think, will be focused focused on that as well. Um, so some other interesting uh, potential new laws coming out, perhaps, um, and I'll say that because um, they're only bills, yes. so they're not passed yet as laws. Yep. But um, I'll mention a few because people might not be aware of them. The Social Media Basic Expectations and Defamation Bill, now that's come about because of the High Court case with the Fairfax Media um, uh, matter that we talked about before. Mm -hmm. So there's a bill that's been issued, we'll talk about that next year and what that means, but that's come out for consultation. There's a social media anti-trolling bill that's mm. also been introduced for consultation and discussion. So that's another one, um, quite interesting, perhaps a flow on from the online safety bill we talked about earlier. Yep. There's also a very hot topic, a new uh, religious discrimination bill that's now been circulated. Now that's going to be very interesting to see the outcome of that bill and, uh, and the mm. um, discussion from that flowing into 2022 and what that means perhaps from a human rights perspective as well, yeah. and discrimination laws, etc. the existing legislation, uh, perhaps not covering the religious views aspect, yeah. um, and, per and perhaps that's why it's being brought out for consultation. And there's also a human rights legislation amendment bill. So that's also going to be um, uh, up for discussion next year about amendments to the Human Rights Act um, that's uh, wow. been around for two, three years. So I think a very interesting year for 2022 uh, coming up. And again, the focus and abundance perhaps of new laws coming in. We've seen that for 2020 and 2021. Um, I don't think that's going to change. I think the new laws will continue. Um, and I think the focus also, and we've talked about this a bit, where the influence of social media has caused people to behave in a different way in society and their conduct's being different, which has forced, I think, the government to then turn their focus on creating new laws to, again, perhaps control 
What's some of that conduct on? and some of that mm-hmm. behaviour yeah. that's outside the box. And as I said earlier earlier in the year, the only way to really do that is to bring out new laws, and that's exactly what's happened in 2021. And again, I think that focus will be for 2022. Yeah, and so it sounds like you're going to have, uh, and in fact, all of your colleagues are going to have a, a big year basically just uh, studying, staying up late at night trying to keep on top of all this. Well, yes, and I think we've said before, uh, is Australia the nanny state? And we've mm. talked about that, and there's so many laws in this country controlling everything, right and wrong. You know, some of them are good for our safety, some of them perhaps not depending on your views. We're not here to say whether they're right or wrong, but we're here to bring that to the attention of the listeners. But maybe that'll continue, yes, because we've had an abundance of laws and that's going to continue for next year. And, you know, Australia, the nanny state, maybe, maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. And, of course, Despina will be back next year. And like you said, so many laws bring so many questions and queries. So if you do want to get in touch with Despina, we just had a chat off air saying it can be anything. So if you have any question, not just regarding law or uh, not just regarding property, sorry, but any kind of law, they can come to you and flick a message or an email over the Christmas holidays. Well, that's the message I want to get. So we've had a, um, a really interesting year. We've had so much positive feedback from the listeners um, and it's been really great and I've tried to answer all of their questions but yes I primarily I'm a property and commercial lawyer but we've talked about so many things that aren't property and commercial related um, in the last uh, year so if anyone has any questions whatever they may be I'm more than happy to try and answer them uh, for the listeners so by all means they can email um, this station uh, which we'll give out in a minute but they can also email our firm info at preallatlegal.com.au and we will do our best in 2022 as always to answer those questions and i think one of the things that we uh that you talked about a number of times on the show and 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 certainly when we've uh talked to you and and got the various uh and when we've had feedback from the listeners, um, is that there is so many, so many changes and it's happening so quickly and it is difficult to keep up. So a program like this is, uh, is great in terms of uh, trying to distill it down, get to the basics and, and uh, get some sort of idea of what's, what's happening. Oh, absolutely. And that's why I love the show. And, and one of the things we didn't touch on, which of course is a big focus, is the property boom mm. um, that everyone's been, a, you know, a lot of people have capitalised on yep. it. Some have come out winners, maybe some others haven't. And I think that will definitely continue. So this show will give you all of the updates as much as um, I'm aware of them and what I can provide to the listeners out there on all topics, whatever they may be, property or not property related, more than happy to do that and continue to do it. We appreciate your time and your knowledge and your research. Oh my gosh, listeners (laughs) don't know how much research this woman puts in. Thank you so much to Spina from Batik Law Firm, Priyala Legal. And like she said, if you do want to get in touch, you can also email the station here, breakfast97 at superradionetwork.com.au. And can I say very quickly, I want to wish everybody, you, both of you, Wayne and Brooke, and all the listeners out there, very Merry Christmas and a wonderful happy new year oh, thank and you, you too despina yes and uh, by the way i like the uh the the, hat. Um, the little decoration you're back wearing in 2022 today. <laughs> yes. oh, my santa hat oh well, we have to be festive oh, well, <laughs> thank you for listening and have a lovely christmas thank you